Listen, man, I don't believe Markel Fultz's career is, is over. I told you guys this the other day. But I do believe it's official. You can start saying he's a bust at the number one pick. I think that ship has sailed, man. I'm watching this kid shoot free throws. His confidence is shot. You know, this is, this is not just your average Joe in regards to confidence. If you go back and watch some of Markel Fultz's interviews after he got drafted to Philly a couple years ago, he was talking about being the rookie of the year, all these accolades in the NBA, and I'm watching this dude play. His confidence doesn't speak of somebody who'd ever be the rookie of the year or win any award in this league. When we're talking about a confidence thing and not the game thing, I'm concerned. I'm not going to lie to you guys, man. The Philadelphia 76ers are, they're most likely going to move Markel Fultz to the bench. That's not a good sign for Fultz. Now, he'll have all the opportunity in the world to prove himself off that bench. He'll probably get still get his 30 minutes a night, you know, be able to be a guard that can maybe average 15 points off that bench. I doubt he does. The Sixers are most likely going to move J.J. Redick back into the lineup after they uh, start lineup after they pulled off the Jimmy Butler trade. Reason why you got to do that is because you need floor spacing. Ben Simmons can't shoot. Obviously, Joel Embiid can moderately shoot the three, but he's a big. He's got to be on the block to a degree in the game. Now you got Jimmy Butler, who sometimes he can light it up for three. Other times he goes cold turkey. To space that court, when you lose Robert Covington and Dottie Osari, two shooters, you got to go get somebody. Reportedly, they're moving Markel Fultz to the bench to spice up that bench and hopefully figure his game out um, without Ben Simmons on the court. I don't think it's the worst move in the world, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's a great sign if you're a Markel Fultz fan from the standpoint of being a starter going to the bench at number one, you're not going to like it. But for where they need him to be right now is a, a contributing bench player. For Philly, hopefully he can figure it out. And be a guy that can score some points in somehow, some way. Really what Markel Fultz is trying to do is score enough points at the end of the first and the second quarters and have good third quarter stretches when he's in the game so that when it's fourth quarter time, when it's six minutes to go, he's playing good enough to keep J.J. Redick on the bench and they roll with Fultz down the stretch. That's his new role, right? Like, he could be the guy that, you know, they could go Ben Simmons, Fultz, Jimmy B, whoever they play at the four, and then, uh, obviously, Embiid at the five. That's his new thing. That's what he should be looking forward to because those days of him being the starter with Jimmy Butler in town, they're over. And in regards to his, um, his situation, he don't even need to be looking forward to, they ain't going to have the money to sign me in a year or two from now when I'm a free agent. Markel Fultz's game is so atrocious right now. He needs to be looking at, I need to be playing my heart out to even show teams I'm, I'm viable of even getting a job after this contract. He don't even need to be worried about what's going to happen in the future. If Jimmy B decides to sign an extension with Philly, he need to be focused on, is he going to be good enough to make another roster in this NBA? Philly's moving on from him in that starting lineup. They're going back to their guy, J.J. Reddick, the consistent three-point shooter who can space the court. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.